I'm meeting you at this late hour. And uh, how many of you, tell me truly, how many of you could get some time to read Salman Rushdie's essay, Commonwealth Literature Doesn't Exist? Every one of us. Sir, I read. Sir, I read it. All of, all of you read? Because actually, if you have read, yeah. then, it would be, then it would be easier for you to understand the essay. And uh, most importantly, you can really participate in the discussion because I always believe that teaching can never be complete until unless the students participate, they interact, they add their own observations, they ask questions. I mean, if you just keep mum, then what is the difference between addressing some live people and just talking to myself? No? So, yes, sir. Yeah, that is the reason that uh, I requested all of you to get some time to read the text. And it's already two minutes past seven. So without wasting any more time, let's just proceed to have some fruitful uh, spend of time. Okay. Now, what I purpose to do today is to first introduce to you, uh, please, please mute yourself. Please mute all of you, please mute yourself so that no unnecessary noise comes and disturbs us. Now you are already grown up enough, so I should not really mute you. You should yourself mute. Mute yourself and unnecessarily don't unmute. When I ask you to unmute, please unmute. Okay. So right at the beginning, what I feel I should do is, first, let us just uh, try to understand the term Commonwealth and also about something about Salman Rusty. So let us just uh, spend some time on that. I'm sharing with sharing with you my screen. Is it visible? Just one of you unmute and tell me, is it visible? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. So this is the picture of Salman Rasti. And why it is, sir? Because he has been knighted, you know. That's the reason. His full name, you should all know, is Sir Ahmed Salman Rasti. Right? And... See, then, some relevant aspects of Rasdi's life that we must also know, that he was born significantly in the year when India became independent, that is in 1947. And in fact, he was born in Mumbai. At that time, it was Bombay. He was born in Mumbai. And he was, in fact, the son of a very prosperous Muslim businessman and later on he became one of the key representatives of the contemporary commonwealth literature i'm purposely mentioning the word commonwealth because in fact the whole idea of this essay is to protest against this particular terminology commonwealth as an indian british novelist why indian british because actually by birth he was an indian and he migrated to Britain. He stayed in England. And he became, a, in fact, a national. He became a native British. Yeah, he, he didn't, he just, he got the citizenship, not a, a native British, but he became a citizen of UK. And because of his novel Midnight's Children, which he wrote in 1981, he was uh, he became one of the most uh, successful and most acclaimed novelists of the postmodern era. And the present essay that you have in your syllabus, Commonwealth Literature Doesn't Exist, 
actually has been taken from his collection, as you can see here, Imaginary Homelands, which he wrote over 16 years, 1981 to 19. Uh, it's not, it's, I think it's uh, not correctly written. It's not uh, 1996, most probably just 1981 to 1991. Uh, we have to be doubly sure. Most probably it's not correct. Uh, most probably it's 1981 to 1991. So that's again, not a big issue. And uh, the next uh, thing that we need to spend some time on is the term Commonwealth. Now, use your, uh, you can just uh, unmute yourself and uh, just uh, try to tell me, I'm just hiding that. Can you tell me, anyone of you, what, if you know anything about the term Commonwealth? Anything that you know about the term Commonwealth? Commonwealth countries are the countries which were under the colonial rule of the British before uh, independence. True, absolutely true. Aditi, how many countries were there? All together? Sir, I so am 54. I did not 54. Write true, true. 54. So 54. Absolutely, right. Absolutely right. 54. So 54 countries were all together there on which at some time or the other, the UK ruled and made their own dominions or their colonies there. Right? And very interestingly, you know, this, uh, this particular term is so patronizing that commonwealth, so first of all, the term wealth actually has come from the word wheel. Look at this. The term commonwealth etymologically comes from the word wealth, which actually came from old English word wheel. Wheel is, which, mean, which meant wealth, welfare, well-being. So the Commonwealth of Nations is a political association of 54 member states, nearly all former territories of the British Empire. Commonwealth literature thus is used to refer to the literature of the former colonies and dependencies of Britain, obviously excluding the literature of England. And if you go back, in fact, the, the term was first used by Oliver Cromwell after establishing the Republican government in England in 1649. And then uh, it became a matter of hot discussion after 300 years in the statute, when it was included in the Statute of Westminster in 1931 uh, with the creation of the dominions, right? And the British Empire was rechristened as the British Commonwealth of Nations. Try to understand the implication, therefore. Jeta Amadir Shabai ke buste hai, je jangun, you know, like a father figure. Kono at a panchayat pradhan, kono ek jun muntri. Amra ki boli? Amra boli. তোমাদের ভালোর জন্য আমরা করছি এটা লক্ষ্য করো এই যে একটা কন্ডেসেন্ডিং প্যাটারনাইজিং টোন যেন দয়া করছি আমি প্রথমে আমি সমস্ত ক্ষমতা নিজের হাতে নিয়ে নিলাম তারপরে বললাম যে দেখো আমি তোমাদের জন্য ভালো করছি রাইট সো দ্যাট ওয়াজ দ্য হোল মোটো এন্ড লুক এট হিয়ার দিস ইজ দা ইফ ইউ লুক এট দা ম্যাপ দিস ইজ দা ম্যাপ ওয়ার্ল্ড কমনওয়েলথ countries 50 more 54 countries are there all together and you can find here also india this is the place this is india our india obviously where you know the british ruled for almost 200 years okay so these are certain things that i wanted first to uh, bring to your notice itihas take to যে কোথ থেকে এই শব্দটা এলো এবার একটু বুঝতে হবে এর ভেতরের পলিটিক্সটাকে এর ভেতরে একটা পলিটিক্স রয়েছে এবং যে পলিটিক্সটা রয়েছে সেটা পাওয়ার পলিটিক্স বুঝতেই পারছো পোস্ট কলোনিয়াল ইরা এখন আমরা যে ইরাতে বাস করি তোমরা জানো ইটস ইটস কল্ড সামটাইমস আ পোস্ট কলোনিয়াল সামটাইমস ইটস কল্ড পোস্ট মডার্ন ইরা সো ইন দিস ইরা এই যে যুগ যে যুগে আমরা এখন বাস করি এখানে এখন আর ইংল্যান্ড তো 
রাজত্ব করছে না ভারতবর্ষের উপরে কিন্তু ওই যে একটা এত দিন ধরে তোমাদের মধ্যে কেউ কেউ কথা বলছো আই রিকোয়েস্টেড অল অফ ইউ টু বি মোর রেসপন্সিবল প্লিজ ডিউটি অসেল সো দ্যাট देयर इज नो साउंड कमिंग हियर রাইট अदरवाइज अगेन आई हैव to mute you all which i don't like i want to give you that freedom so please become responsible mute yourself ha to jeta ami abar phire jai je alochonate seta hocche eta bujhte hobe je puro essay ta jehetu tumra bolle that you have all read this essay try to understand je ei puro essay te rasdi jeta bolte chaichen jekhane tar apotti she apottir mul kendre ache ekta kotha পাওয়ার পলিটিক্স এবং ওই যে একটা কলোনিয়াল পাওয়ার সুপ্রিমেসি তার যে হ্যাং ওভার ক্ষমতা চলে গেছে ক্ষমতা চলে গেছে তো কি হলো এখনো আমি কোনো না কোনো ভাবে আমার রাজত্ব আমার প্রভুত্ব আমার ক্ষমতা আমি জাহির করব রাইট এবং সেইখান থেকেই এই কনসেপ্টটা এসছে সেন্টার অ্যান্ড পেরি ফেরি দিস পেরি কনসেপ্ট দেয়ার ইজ আ সেন্টার and at the center who will be there obviously the king the monarch the queen and all other things everyone else everything non british or rather non american in fact uh, rasdi also mentioned that in that essay tumra jara porecho tumra jano the whole point is that it's a very systematic kind of a propaganda uh against all the people all the nations who are not british or not american to put them under a category to put them under an umbrella and try to show that we are superior yes you write english okay you can you have also learned to write english but don't try to compare yourself with us we are at the center ingreji amar bapar ইংরেজি আমি বুঝি রাইট অ্যান্ড সারপ্রাইজিংলি সালমান রসদি মাই বি কমপ্লেনিং এন্ড প্রোটেস্টিং বাট দেয়ার ইজ আ কাইন্ড অফ এন ইনহারেন্ট কনফ্লিক্ট অ্যান্ড আই উড সে দেয়ার ইজ দিস ইজ আ ভেরি প্রবলেম্যাটিক কাইন্ড অফ এন ইস্যু বিকজ আফটার অল সালমান সালমান রসদি হিমসেলফ ওয়াজ recognized as one of the best commonwealth writers so on one hand he was enjoying the privilege on the other hand he was against this very notion of uh, being called a commonwealth writer and then just think about you are already in the in your uh, final half on the second sem of the honors course interestingly uh, you know uh, what course what honors course are you doing tumra ki course korcho english honors and uh, canonically canon te ki obviously british english etu bhebe dekho khub interestingly amader bharotborshe amra eto gulo university te ingreji sahitya porachhi shekhane at the center sob shomoy kintu jeta ache seta hocche pure british literature chaucer porchi milton porchi shakespeare porchi wordsworth porchi byron porchi right and if you are studying at all salman rasti or say mulk raj anand or anita desai or anybody else see you are reading there that as a separate paper tapa ta bujho তাহলে কোথাও না কোথাও আমরাও যেন অ্যাকসেপ্ট করে নিয়েছি যে যদি ইংলিশ লিটারেচারের অনার্স আমাকে পেতে হয় দেন অ্যাট দ্য সেন্টার উইদাউট এনি ডাউট অ্যান্ড ডিবেট ইট উড বি চসার শেক্সপিয়ার সেলি বাইরন নট পিপল লাইক সালমান গস্তি অর বি এস নাইপল অর অনিতা দেশাই অর টেগোর ট্রান্সলেটেড ইন টু ইংলিশ or anybody else right tale ei ei jayga ta bujhte hobe je eta ekta mane tumra jano je amra boli 
পুরুষবাদ আমরা বলি যে শবনিজম শবনিজম শব্দটা নিশ্চয়ই শুনেছো তোমরা এভরিবডি হ্যাজ হার্ড দ্য ওয়ার্ড শবনিজম অল অফ ইউ ইয়েস অর নো ইয়েস স্যার ইয়েস শবনিজম ইউ হ্যাভ হার্ড এবং লক্ষ্য করো কত রকমের শবনিজম আছে কত রকমের রেসিজম আছে কত রকমের ক্যাটাগরাইজেশন আছে রাইট আমরা তোমরা তাসলিমা নাসরিন নাম শুনেছো শুনেছো তাসলিমা নাসরিন ইয়েস স্যার তাসলিমা নাসরিন ইয়েস স্যার আমাদের ভাষাতে আমাদের বিশ্বাসে আমাদের সংস্কারে রাইট ফ্রম আর বার্থ কন্টিনিউসলি উই আর বোম্বার্ডেড উইথ ভেরি রেসিস্ট কাইন্ড অফ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ রাইট জন্মাতে জন্মাতেই আমরা শুনি নিজের মা বাবা বলেন তুই তো একটা মেয়ে তোর এরকম কুস্তি করা ভালো দেখায় না রাইট বায়োলজিক্যাল ফ্যাক্টর্স রয়েছে ঠিক আছে বাট সি অল দ্য টাইম ইন ওয়ান ওয়ে অর দি আদার আমরা কিন্তু এই ক্যাটাগরি ফরমেশন করে চলেছি রাইট আমরা স্বামীরা স্ত্রীদের বলি তুমি কি বুঝবে ওই সব রাইট আমি কামাচ্ছি তুমি বেশ রান্না করো খাও দাও গয়না কেনো শাড়ি কেনো রাইট জাস্টিং টোন হাজবেন্ড হাজবেন্ড ইট সেলফ ইজ আর ভেরি কন্ডেসেন্ডিং ওয়ার্ড হাজবেন্ড মানে মালিক রাইট সো অন ওয়ান হ্যান্ড ইউ টক অবাউট মিউচুয়াল আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ডিং পারফেক্ট কম্প্যাটেবিলিটি ইকুয়াল রাইটস এন্ড অল এন্ড দেন ইউ সে হাজবেন্ড রাইট তাহলে আমাদের টার্মিনোলজিতে আমাদের ভাষাতে আমাদের বিশ্বাসে আমাদের সংস্কারে আমাদের সবকিছুতে আমরা কিন্তু ভীষণভাবে এই সেন্টার পেরিফেরি এই ব্যাপারটাকে মেনটেন করে চলেছে রাইট এবং তাহলে পলিটিক্স আমরা পলিটিক্স এর কথা বলি রাইট ইউ টক অবাউট পলিটিক্স পাওয়ার পলিটিক্স বাট দ্যাট পাওয়ার পলিটিক্স ইউ ক্যান সি in all all our homes in the families kojoner barite tumra dekhecho je ma ke babar saman gurutto dawa hocche khub kom dawa hoy na right ebong ekhono dawa hoy na even in 2020 amra eta pari na ebong seta shudhu biological factor noy amader eta mental frame i erokom hoye geche যে আমরা উই জাস্ট কান্ট অ্যাকসেপ্ট দিস পুরুষদের মনে হয় যে আমার একটা বিশেষ মানে বৌদ্ধিক ব্যাপার ইন্টালেকচুয়ালি মেল ইজ সুপিরিয়র টু আ উমেন দ্যাট ইজ আ ফলস কাইন্ড অফ আ মিথ ফলস কাইন্ড অফ বিলিভ দ্যাট অলমোস্ট অল মেন ইন ওয়ান ওয়ে অর দি আদার ইউ নো অল অল মেন এভরি ওয়ান অলমোস্ট অল মেল মেম্বার্স there might be some happy exceptions kintu kothao na kothao jano amra choto bela theke etai shikhi ebhabei boro hoyechi je meer eta pare na me eta meer eta shobha jay na right try to understand sutorang british ra jokhon commonwealth a term ta byabohar korche commonwealth literature bole eta particular category toiri korche tar pechone ashole kintu ওই একই কর্তৃত্ব করার দয়া করে দিলাম ঠিক আছে তুমি ইংরেজি লিখেছ আচ্ছা হ্যাঁ ঠিক আছে তোমার ইংরেজিটা করছে হ্যাঁ ভালোই লিখেছ সুন্দর লিখেছ কিন্তু ইউ ক্যান নেভার কম্পিট উইথ আস ইউ ক্যান নেভার রিয়ালি ডেয়ার টু কাম টু আওয়ার সার্কেল আওয়ার পজিশন অথচ উই নো এভরি ওয়ান দ্যাট ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ইজ Uh, not anyone's monopoly and in fact the truth is that uh, there are many non native english people non native people who speak better english than many english people uh, and this is true in uh, for any language right uh, hindi might be my mother tongue but uh, there are many non hindi people who speak and who know better hindi than me it's just a question of uh, how much time you have given to learn that language and uh, your aptitude so try to understand this is the crux actually of the whole essay ami tomader ja kichu bolchi 
তোমরা এটা ভেবো না যে আমি অপ্রাসঙ্গিক কিছু বলছি যেটা বলছি সেটাই হচ্ছে পুরোপুরি এই যে এসে কমনমেন্ট লিটারেচার ডাজেন্ট এক্সিস্ট তার মূল কথা যদি আমাকে কেউ জিজ্ঞেস করো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য সেন্ট্রাল থিম দ্য সেন্ট্রাল থিম ইজ দিস এন্ড হিয়ার লাইজ সালমান রাস্তিস অবজেকশন রাইট देयर ही इज प्रोटेस्टिंग protesting against this politics protesting against this uh, dishonesty protesting against this uh, tendency you know to belittle to denigrate to still uh, have a kind of an upper hand which is absolutely unjustified so that is what is interesting now just uh, uh, look at this now i'm going to share with you the text so that uh, we can start at least uh, and read the text and understand for ourselves what exactly uh, see this is the book you know uh, this is actually taken from imaginary homelands and i told you this is essays and criticism 1981 1991 not 96 okay and uh, here you have uh, it's published by penguin and you have some interesting writings imaginary homelands and you have midnight children for which uh, in fact uh, salman rushdie became world famous and you have many things in fact i mean uh, i would in fact request you not just to limit yourself only to common myth literature doesn't exist you should read something more uh, they are very readable and you would really enjoy this is mark this is here it is common myth literature does not exist in page 61 okay so there are a number of things here it's a uh, shotojit re no number of things so we straight we now move to the text that you have in your syllabus common myth literature does not exist now this is that it say common with literature does not exist when i was invited to speak at the 1983 english study seminar in cambridge the lady from the british council look at this offered me a few words of reassurance see the irony and see the patronizing tone it's all right i was told for the purposes of our seminar english studies are taken to include commonwealth literature as if commonwealth literature cannot be a part of english studies and they have really done a great favor by including commonwealth literature after all other times one was forced to conclude at all other times one was forced to conclude these two would be kept strictly apart like squabbling children or sexually incompatible pandas or perhaps like unstable fissile materials whose union might cause explosions try to understand so right in the very first paragraph uh, by referring to this kind of an anecdote ekta bishesh tar jiboner ghotona ke niye esechen salman rasdi uh to bring in something personal right so it is not just merely an uh, a theory uh, out of some belief right in fact uh, he has undergone certain experiences rather unsavory unpleasant experiences and now he is sharing and that is the beginning point in fact let me tell you here one thing that when you talk about uh, protest against these kind of terminologies and uh, this kind of an attitude you know rasti was not doing it for the first time uh, there were protests there were a number of writings essays and things that were done against this tendency much before rasti but then when rasti took it you know ajo naam kora manush jokhon kono kichu bolen tar gurutto ta onno rokom hoye jay that is exactly what is done because rasti has wrote written this essay a few weeks later i was talking to a literature don a specialist i ought to say in english literature mark that purposely he has italicized this english is italicized 
right? A friendly and perceptive man. And now what he says, as a commonwealth writer, he suggested, you probably find, don't you, that there's a kind of liberty, certain advantages in occupying, as you do, a position on the periphery. So you have now that very significant word, periphery. Periphery is on the boundary. You can understand the outer lines. So if you draw a circle, right? If you draw a circle, then periphery is the outer lines. And you can understand uh, that uh, the very concept is that there would be some people who would always be at the center, like, you know, the central government and people who would be always hovering around but can never really reach the center. And what he said, he says, as a Commonwealth writer, perhaps you enjoy a kind of a liberty, certain advantages in occupying as you do a position on the periphery. What is that? And then a British magazine published in the same issue, interviews with Shiva Naipaul, that is V.S. Naipaul, Buchi Imecheta, and myself, uh, Bucci Imecheta was a Florence Onibuchi Bucci Imecheta was a Nigerian born novelist based in the UK from 1962 and who also wrote plays and an autobiography. Okay, so she was a Nigerian basically, like Salman Rusdi was by birth an Indian, and she too uh, was somebody who. Uh, was based in UK like Salman Rusty. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Aditi, you are just asking me what advantage and liberty is he talking about? Advantage of remaining in the uh, periphery is that you don't really own any responsibility and yet you are given a certain kind of a tag. Okay. Try to understand. See, the person who are in the center, at the center, they enjoy certain privileges and but also have to shoulder extra responsibility. And when you are on the periphery, uh, uh, right? Uh, people who have come from English medium, perhaps they can speak better. Jara Bangla medium They don't have that habit of speaking. Uh, so you know what we do? You allow you allow them a bit more freedom to make some very silly errors. Ah, you know, so you can always make uh, those silly errors. So. Try to understand. So there itself is actually a condescending tone. Now mark this. Come here. Uh, Aditya, I hope uh, I could answer your question. Yes, Aditya? Okay. So fine. Uh, then let's proceed. So And then a British magazine published the same issue, interviews with Shiva Naipaul and Buchi Imecheta. And uh, myself, in my interview, I admitted that I had begun to find this strange term, Commonwealth literature, unhelpful and even a little distasteful, mark that. And I was interested to read that in their interviews, both Shiva Naipaul and Buchi Imacheta in their own way said much the same thing. So obviously, Rasdi is making a kind of a grouping. He says, this is not just my objection or protest. Uh, Amari Moto, Onno successful writers, they also are not happy by being given a tag. Let a level mere dawa. The three interviews appear, therefore, under the headline Commonwealth Writers, but don't call them that. Mark that. But don't call them that. So you have a very interesting proposition. It could be interesting at a vapor. They are Commonwealth Writers but they are not happy about being called as Commonwealth writers. So the, so the interview says, well, uh, reality is that they all belong to the Commonwealth countries and yet they are not happy being called Commonwealth writers. Now, by this point, the Commonwealth was becoming unpopular with me. 
isn't this the very oddest of beasts, I thought. And I purposely have highlighted this part. A school of literature whose supposed members deny vehemently that they belong to it. Adbhut Bapar. Tumi akta bishesh shreni ke jodo kore bolle ye tumra hocho slum dwellers. Jadir bolcho slum dwellers, tarai bolche nana amra slum dwellers noi. A school of literature whose supposed members deny vehemently that they belong to it. Worse, these denials are simply disregarded. To be jotoi bolo nana ami noi ami noi eta noi eta noi eta noi. Right? I mean, as if I ruled over you, as if the British ruled over India, and therefore it has become their right always to look down upon us. Hey, don't try to come near us. Don't try to think you are equal because. You know, 200 years we ruled over you. I mean, they are not able to, in fact, forget that past. Right? Things have advanced. Time has changed. But their mentality hasn't. It seems the creature has taken on a life of its own. So when I was invited to a conference about the animal inn of all places, Sweden, I thought I would better go along to take a closer look at it. The conference was beautifully organized, packed with erudite, means, you know, scholarly and sophisticated persons capable of discoursing at length about the new spirit of experiment in English language, writing in the Philipp Philippines. Also, I was able to meet writers from all over the world, or rather the Commonwealth. It was such a seductive environment that it almost persuaded me that the subject under discussion actually existed. Tumra. তোমরা সেই গল্প শুনেছ যে একটা মানুষ মানে একটা গ্রামের মানুষ কি হলো একটা ছাগলকে ও নিয়ে যাচ্ছিল বিক্রি করার জন্য আর দু তিনজন ঠক যারা ওকে ঠকাতে চাইছিল তারা কি করলো তারা প্ল্যান করলো ওকে বোকা বানানোর বিফোর আই সে দ্য ফার্দার থিংস ডু ইউ এনি ওয়ান অফ ইউ ক্যান টেল মি What was the story? Dekhi, tumra shune chho ki na, mone korte paro ki na? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, what was sir. that? What was that? What was the story? Sir, jara thau chilo, tara sir bol chilo je, ita chagon na, ita hoche kukur, bar bar ek aata na bolar phole, o mone kore chilo je, na ita shotti chagon na, ita kukur hi hoche. Absolutely right, absolutely right. So, you know, repeatedly when you are said, environment persuaded me that the subject under discussion actually existed and was not simply a fiction. Lokho karo, tale ekhane kintu Salman Rasdi is saying, what is a fiction? Fiction is something imaginary. And a fiction of a unique type, or at that, in that it has been created solely by critiques and academics who have then proceeded to believe in it wholeheartedly. So that's a very important point that he's making. In fact, this is how, you know, uh, in politics, you try to assassinate somebody's character. Uh, when you try to really win, a, win, a, uh, win an election, you know, sometimes what you do, you try to scandalize your opponents. Amra amader proti pokkho ke, birodi pokkho der kichu dam kara log der ebhaibha bad naam kori, akabare seasoned systematic propaganda diye. বারবার মিডিয়াতে বারবার খবর কাগজে বারবার বিভিন্ন জায়গাতে সেই লোকটাকে খারাপ ভাবে প্রতিভাত করা হয় তুলে ধরা হয়মিনোলজি প্রোপাগান্ডা এভরিথিং ওয়াজ ভেরি সিস্টেম্যাটিক্যালি ডান বাই আর নাম্বার অফ ক্রিটিক্স একাডেমিক্স ইনক্লুডস ইন দ্য টিচার্স এন্ড প্রফেসর who have then proceeded to believe in it wholeheartedly. I mean, you said that you said that you said that you said Look at the irony. We don't have really the courage to introduce an honest course only in 
Indian writers in English. Dako amra English literature honors kochi. Ki adbhut bapar. Amade karor kono shahos hoy ni kono university je eta bolar je keno amra alada kore ekta course korbo na puro puri ekta honors course design korbo na keno amne masters korbo na jekhane shudhu amra eto Indians likheche ni English jite. क्यों तर ऊपर पढ़ब ना क्यों हमें चसर पढ़ते थकब कैन स्पेन्सर पढ़ब कैन सिडनी पढ़ब एत पुरानो लेखक पढ़ते ही थकब कैन पढ़ब ना निजे लेखक रईट एंड दैट इज सी दो दैट्स वोट इज गोड सलमान रुस्ती कन्सिडर दैट सामहर मेन्टाली कलोनइज बै द ब्रिटिश पीपल ट्रू दो इंडिया इज नाउ फ्री कंट्री ट्रू एबसोलिटली ट्रु यू आर रईट I told you that amra jokhon kauke erokom boli tui me chele tui me chele tui me chele amra ojante tar ki khoti kori baba ba ma hishebe seta amra bhabtei parbo na tar bhitore ei shahos tai ami shesh kore dilam je she je kono purusher motoi kaj korte pare she can do anything right ami take otirikto protection dite giye take pongu baniye dilam so absolutely right when you say that uh, uh, actually we can be critical about the british or we can be critical about all those people who uh, employ this kind of a power politics or diplomacy but actually we ourselves are also responsible at least partly so yes, but sir. the doubts did in spite of all temptations to succumb persist but somehow salman rushdie was not convinced so i stopped there the